Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Ratnagar. The news in detail. Mother of Chief Justice of India, Sharad Bobade, was duped of Rs. 2.5 crore. Police said here on Wednesday. According to police sources, the cops have registered an FIR in this connection late Tuesday night and booked one tapas ghost and placed him under arrest. As per detailed report, Bobade's family own a hereditary property near Akashwani Square in Nagpur. CGI's mother, Mukta Bobade, is the legal owner of the property that has been rented to Ghosh who runs renowned season long. Police further informed that Ghosh and his spouse would look after the property, capitalizing on the fact that Bobade's mother is old. Ghosh forged the receipt of and duped CGI's mother of Rs. 2.5 crore. The Ghosh couple had been flourishing through their crime for a couple of years. The fraud came to light a few days back, following which the Bobre family approached cops. Unidentified burglars have decamped with gold ornaments, diamond and other jewelry and Rs. 47,000 cash, whose total worth was Rs. 30.47 lakhs from the home of a senior citizen residing in Pannasa Liao. Complainant Simapuram Gunashankar Reddy, a trader involved in go-down business in the city, had gone along with his family to Goa between Thursday and Tuesday. Sensing a position to strikes at his home, unidentified thieves broken up the main door of his perfect housing society, Pannasaliya placed home and stole jewelry and money bowls, collectively worth worth Rs. 30.47 lakhs from the Almira of his main bedroom before leaving the spot. On the basis of a complaint lodged by Red D. Sonika police went to the crime scene and have registered a case under Section 454, 457 and 380 of the Indian Penal Code further probes on in this case. Aam Admi Party activist Amol Harki along with his colleagues felicitated advocate Abhijit Vanjari who decisively won the MLC election a few days ago. Congratulating him on his victory, Harki and his fellow activists from the Aam Admi Party emphasized on Vanjari the need to work on the mission of Shikshan Swasthya Rozgar. They also took his signature on a memorandum seeking the immediate abolition of discriminatory anti-farm bills which have been passed by the center and sought his support in this concern. Youth employment and empowerment is an area in which people's representative like Vanjari need to work on RK opined. He also apprised Vanjari of the need to raise the matter of developing the MIDC and Mihan in Nagpur for employment generation for graduates at the appropriate levels. On this occasion, Banti Dhone, Sachin Lonarkar, Sikandar Bagde and others were present. The corona positive cases and casualties continue to rise unabated in the second capital. In the last 24 hours, 9 deaths and 403 positive cases were reported in Nagpur district. With this, the total number of positive cases and casualties in the district was reached to 1,15,728 and 3,763 respectively. While giving the breakup of the deaths due to the coronavirus pandemic, medical officials have revealed that out of the total casualties, 651 and 2,576 deaths are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while 536 persons are from outside the district. They further said that out of the total 403 positive cases, 36 positive cases came to light from AIMS 75 from GMC 62 from IGMC 23 from Mapsu 41 from Niri 24 from Nagpur University 103 from private laboratories and 39 from antigen testing level. Considering the increasing number of corona positive cases and casualties, school under the jurisdiction of Nagpur Municipal Corporation will remain closed till January 3, 2021. In this regard, Municipal Commissioner Radhakrishnan B issued an order on Wednesday. Online education will continue as per the guideline issued by the government to ensure that students do not stop learning even if the school is closed. In particular, the pre-scheduled 10th and 12th supplementary examination of the Maharashtra State Board of secondary and higher secondary examination will continue as per the pre-scheduled schedule. The NMC Commissioner said, the corona positive cases in the area under Nagpur Municipal Corporation's jurisdiction is under control. However, the threat of coronavirus pandemic cannot be ruled out. As a result, the NMC officials and senior leadership have decided to close all schools till 3, 3rd January until further order are issued. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.